All right, everybody, we are going to discuss the mini little project that we have in um, human geography with this first unit. And it basically is going to kind of take everything that we talk about during the first unit, and you're going to slowly kind of put it together. Um, so some of these things we have not talked about yet, some of them we have, um, but as we continue to go through this this unit, you're going to add on, and I'm going to give you more time to add on to this project. So this is called your favorite place, Google Site Assignment. Now in the past, we've made websites uh, uh, using Google Sites or other, or other website designs out there. Um, I'm also going to allow you to use Google Slides this time as well. And it might just simply be easier if you're at home working on stuff and, and having trouble. So you can either use a website to create this, or you can use Google Slides to create this. But you're going to create um, a little project that addresses um, your favorite place or one of your favorite places. And this should be real. It should not be something from a movie or a book or something like that. Any work of fiction, this should be real. And uh, you're going to basically use these geogra geography concepts um, in this project. So I know a lot of this... Um, by the time you watch this, you should have we should have talked about this. I'm making it a little earlier, but essentially, you're going to pick out a place. That's step number one. And then from there, you're going to start putting together this project. So the first slide or the first tab on a website or something um, is going to deal with absolute location. And by this point, we'll have talked about it in class, but you're going to include on this slide or, or slides about absolute location the toponym, so that is the name of the place, and maybe some kind of meaning. You know, we talked about the different types of toponyms and how places got their names. For instance, maybe your favorite place is the cabin. Well, maybe the first time you bought the cabin, you're driving up to it and your dad said, we're going up to the cabin. That might be how it got its name, right? Um, or it could be, you know, much more in-depth than that. You're also going to include the latitude and longitude to the best of your knowledge, looking it up, however you have to do that. Uh, could also include an address, if it has an address. Um, include photos and graphics that help enhance the page and help viewers visualize the absolute location. Uh, situation. It gives the situation or relative location in three different ways. So if my favorite place was the high school, I might say it is west of the sledding hill. I might say it is north of Falcon Ridge. I might say it is, I don't know, uh, what else do we have around here? I might say it is northeast of the football field and the hockey arena, something like that. And that helps describe it. Site. Describe site using five different ways. Include photos and graphics on all of these. Um, you know, what is there? So if I'm talking about, you know, a, a certain place, I'm going to describe it five different ways. What's there? You know, a place like if my favorite place is Target Field, I might say something like um, green grass. I might say something like, you know, the agar lime that makes up the infield, things like that. The, um, you know, plants in the outfield, those physical features. Regions uh, list two different vernacular regions and a functional region that this place is a part of. Be able to explain the shared characteristics that make this place part of those three regions. Also include photos and graphics. You know, if I'm picking the school again, I might say it's part of, you know, Scott County. That's a region that they're in or that we are in. Um, you know, the New Prague School District is a region, vernacular or a functional region. You know, it stretches out only a certain area. Before, boom, you're in a different school district. You know, vernacular regions, um, maybe it is, you know, part of New Prague. You know, the New Prague area, New Prague area schools, something like that. And we'll talk more about regions as we go. Uh, globalization and movement. How is your place connected to other places? How are we connected to the world? You know, things like that. Explain how diffusion plays a role in your place economically, culturally, politically, or in any other way. 
Um, and we'll talk, you'll, some of these things you're going to understand more when we get to them. We haven't talked about any of these yet, but by the time um, as we get to each one, uh, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to explain a little bit more and it'll make a little bit more sense. Right now, a lot of this stuff isn't making any sense because we haven't talked about it. This project will be due at the end of the unit. So when we take the unit test, it'll be due.